Hey there, interwebs. To create the origami spider, begin by making the magic square. First, fold the square of paper diagonally in both directions. Then, fold it in half lengthwise and horizontally as well. Once this is completed, take two opposite corners and pull them together so it folds into a square. At this point, you may want to rotate each of the four leaves 90 degrees to help even out your creases. Next, flatten each leaf by pressing downwards to create a kite shape. Do this for all four leaves. You want to make sure that your creases are crisp, because these will form the legs later. After this is done, unfold each of them 90 degrees. Then take each of the bottom edges and fold them up towards the central crease. Then fold the top down as far as it can go without folding over the crease you just made. Then take the bottom portion of the kite shape and pull it up in the petal fold. You should end up with a small kite shape near the bottom. Flip it over and repeat this process, folding in each of the bottom edges towards the central crease and then pull up to create the kite fold, or the, the petal fold, I'm sorry. Do this for each side. You will need to do this four times. Next, fold each of the bottom edges in towards the central crease again to make the legs thinner. Do this for all four legs. Again, make sure the edges are crisp, otherwise the legs will come out a bit wonky. After this is done, open it up and fold them the other way as well. You should have an elongated kite shape. Now, carefully pull each of the four legs up and slice it up the center ridge with a pair of scissors. Do this for all four legs. When this is finished, you will have the eight legs required for the spider. As you do this, be sure not to cut too far or you will hit the abdomen of what will become our spider. Now that this is done, start fo begin by folding the legs back, tucking them under their own creases. You will understand what this means if you're doing it along with me. Basically, there are ridges that sort of run down the side of the body. If you fold the legs under, sort of back and under, they will stay downwards instead of trying to pop up. Pull the top ones back at a much sharper angle than the ones towards the front. This will give you an even spread of the legs. For the final two front legs, you may want to bend them the opposite way. So that way, they stay up. These will act as your primary arms. Once you have the legs pulled back to where you want them, begin by folding the ends of them, the feet, in towards where they all converge. 
these will make our knees. Do this for all four, and be sure to pinch them extra, sorry, all eight legs, and be sure to pinch them so that way they stay bent, or else they will unbend pretty easily. You can see that they all fold in towards the center. Unfold them a little, then bend them the opposite way to make feet. Once you are finished making the feet, Take these spider by the sides of the abdomen and blow into the mouth parts. I believe these are called pedipalps. You may take several breaths to do this. The idea is to inflate the abdomen and then begin to pull outward slightly on the ridges to give it a more round body. When this is done, you should have a spider. Ta-da! Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.